whatever men think it's so as his heart is. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. So it, whatever, uh, whatever, it, it, it is not about quantity. We are the church, amen? amen. We are the church. And I was uh, asking uh, Brother Tony, uh, the, the second of this is something that I catch, caught in my eyes in there. Is it Philippians? Is it, is it Philippians 4? Philippians 4. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> okay, it's Philippians. But these things, uh, Pastor was telling that we have to compel them to yeah. come into the church, the house of the Lord. But we, can, uh, God is not by force. Yeah. God does not force nobody. Yeah. God does not force his blessings. God does not force to give his grace. Yeah. Only the one that would want to accept and believe what he can do for you. Amen? Yeah. God is not a God of force. He yeah. never forced anyone. Right. So there is a Philippians chapter 3 that I will, uh, 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 there is chapter, chapter 3 that I saw, uh, verse 18. Okay? Uh, Verse 18 and 19, I just caught this in my eyes. This is not, this is not the, the one I'm, I'm delivering today, but I, it just caught in my eyes when Brother Tony uh, read, as uh, read Philippians 4. But in Philippians 3, verse 18 and 19 says, For many walk, O whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of, the, of Christ. What is the enemies of Christ here? As you can see, in my Bible, the King James Version, there's calling in there. Yeah. Amen? First of all, I'll give honor, glory and honor to my Lord and, Je uh, and Savior Jesus Christ, to our beloved pastor, Mother Dean, uh, Brother Tony, and all the angels, and all the saints, absent, absent centaurs who are not here. I give honor and glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, you see, um, for many walk, many, and we many. Amen. Walk of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. There, there is a column. When there is a column, there is a continuation. What are these enemies of Christ? Look at verse 19. Whose end is destruction? Everyone say number one. one. I'm not saying that's the number one. Yes. Whose end is destruction? Okay, number two. Whose God is their belly? Uh -huh. Number two. Everyone say, whose God? Is there many? So if you offer some food out there, the people will come here. Yes. Go outside and put some kind of going local outside there. Trust me, there are, there are about 10 50 people who will come inside. Because who's, who's what do you say this? Whose God is their belly? Amen? Amen? And whose glory is in their shame? Because they want glory of themselves. Yeah. They want to be applauded and to be glorified. Yeah. They want some honor of themselves. Yeah. And that's a Pharisee. Yeah. That's a Pharisee kind of disciples of Christianity. Whose mind are we in peace? Yeah. So there are four that are the enemies of the cross of Christ. Yeah. There is common, number one. Everyone say, whose end is destruction? A destruction. They know already that their end is destruction. Their end, they're ready to end. Why? Because they know they, they've been sinning. They know that they're sinning. Yeah. They know that they're not right with God. Yeah. They don't have the right of standing with God. Yeah. Why? Because they have not been born again yeah. in spirit and in water. Yeah. They might be born again in water, but their spirit is still a sin. Yeah. It's still a sin.
not what I want to preach today, but it's calling my eyes. So now these are the enemies. Why? Why do? Why? Why are the their enemies destruction? They already know their their ending. There, there's, there seems to be a way which seems to be right, but in the end is destruction. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. It seems to be right, but the end is destruction. Yeah. Whose God is the devil? How many are guilty with that? I was guilty. Yeah. I was guilty. Yeah. When I didn't know my Lord, I was guilty. Yeah. I was one of them. I didn't know Jesus, but when they said that it's party time, it's birthday time, I will come because I want my belly to be full. I want my belly to be full. And they said, oh, come, come, sister, and you sing. You sing. Are you sure I'm singing? <laughs> what I am before. Are you sure I'm singing? If I'm not singing, I'm not coming. Yes. If I'm singing, I'm going. Yes. Whose who, glory is their shame? Yes. And who's my earthly things. Because these things that we have, they, these things that we, our flesh won't do us no good. This is what, is, what, what God wants us to be, is to uh, th uh, uh, think of things above. Yeah. Think of the things above. Amen? Amen? amen. amen. Hallelujah. So everyone say amen. amen. And there's one that caught me with Pastor talk about last week on Hebrews 12, verse 2. Hebrews 12, verse 2. Now we are saints here. He says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Can someone say, praise the Lord? Praise you look unto Jesus no matter what. We don't care if it's one or two people here. You're looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Yeah. It's not a man yeah. that will finish your faith. No. It is Jesus who will finish your faith. Everything is subject to change. Yeah. 
who will change? The administrator here is Jesus Christ. Who will change you? Jesus Christ himself will change you. He's going to change you. What happened during rapture? If you, think, if you think that you will be raptured, no, you're not going to be raptured. Because you're full of pride. You're not going to be raptured. Pride came from Lucifer. Humility came from Jesus Christ. Because they need to be reborn. 
be born in the spirit yes. and in water. You might be born in water, but you're still sinning. Why are born again still sinning? Because they don't have, they have not renewed their mind. The, the, the word says that be, 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 be transformed, not conformed. Yes. Be transformed, yes. not conformed to the standard of this world. Yes. But renewing your mind, renewing your mind is every day. It's not, it's not right away. It is, it is a lifetime renewing your mind, amen? amen. We make mistakes, born again, we make mistakes. We sin. We can, we can cuss a neighbor, we can fight with our husband, we can fight with our wife, we can say a bad word, but, but we're not looking at the sin because Christ paid it yeah. at the cross yeah. 2,000 years ago. So you will come, you will not gonna hide like Adam and Eve, you're gonna be hiding. Just come boldly, just say, Lord, I'm still the righteousness of God. Because he gave us his righteousness. Why do you don't want to get, get that righteousness? Because you don't believe. You do not believe that, that God pardoned your sin. And you will say, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. That's self-righteousness. That's pride. That's not to say amen. 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 Self-righteousness is pride. Amen? amen? You say, I know that already. Don't teach me. I know that. I know. I know more than you are. That's right. Amen. Can someone say amen? amen. Yeah. I know more than you are. I'm, I'm older than you are. Yeah. I, I'm studying the Bible more than you are. That's right. Amen. Can someone say amen? Yeah. That's why be, being a preacher is is that is a call. It's a call. It is a call. It's not an appoint, appointment of man. It is an appointment by God. Yes. Being, a, being, being a minister or being a, a, anything is a commitment yes. from God. Can someone yes. say amen? amen? What I'm talking today is about in Christ. Yes. Everyone say in Christ. in Christ. If you're in Christ, in Christ means you are in Christ. In Christ means that you are. Yes. Yes. Inside your spirit, inside your heart. Yes. Amen. Amen. Everyone say, I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Everyone say, I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. If you're in Christ then, then why are you separated from Him? Yes, come on now. Hallelujah. In Christ, do you see my ring church? I am there. Yes. If you're in Christ, you're married to Christ. Yes. Because of what He has done for you. When, when anybody man can see me, they will say, oh, you're married, you're taken away. They, they, they won't bother to say, what's your name? Because they don't have a ring. Because, because I'm married. Same thing in Christ. When you're in Christ, you're married to him. Yes. Can someone say, praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Everyone say, wave our hands and say, hallelujah. hallelujah. Everyone say, hallelujah. hallelujah. So if you're in Christ, hallelujah. you're married to him. You, uh, let's go to uh, one text so I will be, uh, yeah. Amen. Let's go to, uh, hallelujah, Corinth, uh, se uh, second Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 17 to 21. Hallelujah. I'm about to finish this. Amen. amen. Can someone say amen. amen. We are blessed. My we are blessed. Everyone say, I am blessed. I am blessed. We are blessed because we are here. Second Corinthians verse 17 to 21 until chapter 6 verse 1. Therefore, if any, if any man be in Christ, and what's in Christ? In Christ. He is a new creature. All things, All things are passed away. Pass away. Behold, oh. all things have become new. Can someone say hallelujah? Before you become born again, you have an attitude. Before you become a born again, you you cuss a lot. Amen? Before you become born again, you're a fighter. Yeah. Because before you become a born again, you you have temper. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. But these are all behavior. Yeah. All things are 
way. Can someone say amen? amen. Can someone say amen? amen? All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Yes. So you have no attitude to your old you. If you're still attitude to your old you, you're not born again yet. Sorry. If you're drunk before, you shouldn't be drunk right now. Yes. Come on, say amen. amen. If you're smoking marijuana before, you shouldn't be smoking marijuana right now. Can someone say amen? amen. All things are passed. What about marijuana? It's a medicine. With the, pres- with the exception of the doctor's amen. prescription. Amen? 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 Why? Because these things, what, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So if you're destroying your body, you're destroying the temple of God. How many people die early because of alcohol? How many people die early because of smoking? That's only that's only example. How many people die because they don't know what they're eating? Okay? All things are passed away. All things are become new. You're not going to shake anymore. Like I said, I have a store in New York. I met I met an old friend, an old girlfriend. And she said, hi. Hi, Seb. You know, she, she raised her hand. How are you? Oh, you. How are you doing? You know, we shake our hands and stuff like that. And then, and then she said, remember what you do when you were in high school? You were popping glasses and you go out there and meet your boyfriends? I said, and then my other... My other friend told me, who is that sis? I don't know. I don't know what she's talking about. That's not me. <laughs> that is not you. No more. Amen? Amen. If the devil reminds you about your, your past, remind him about his future. Amen. Yes. So I will say amen. amen. So I will say amen. amen. All things are of God and who have reconciled us to him. Yes. So by Jesus Christ has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Everyone say reconciliation. It is done. He's not mad at you no more. He reconciled with you no more. To meet the God within Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing trespasses unto them. And had to meet them to have the word of reconciliation. No more. He did not impute the sin no more. He took it on his body. Let's have a say amen. amen. Just like this. When Adam and Eve sinned, the, the world was condemned already by God. And that condemnation is death. Amen? amen. The wages of sin is death. Amen? amen. Be- before you die, you will get sick first. Yes. Amen? That's why the man has a short life. God did not plan the man to die early. Because of the sin, the sin came sickness, Diseases, curses in life. Curses in life came because of the sin of Adam. But Jesus Christ came. Took that sin away. And then the trespasses. Not imputing your trespasses unto them, have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now that we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God will beseech you as by us, we pray you in Christ instead. Be reconciled to God. Can someone say amen? amen. For he has made it to be sin for us who knew no sin, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Everyone say, everyone say I, am I am the righteousness right. of God. Oh, it's done, it is finished. Hallelujah. Chapter 6, verse 1. We then as workers together with him beseech you also that you receive not the grace of God in vain. Do not receive the, the grace of God in vain. How? You still sinning. Let's all say amen. amen. How? You still sinning. You, yes. you, you accept the grace of God in vain because you're still sinning. You're still sinning every day. You're still sinning. You disregard the grace of God. What he did is he took, he took your sin already. Why are you still sinning when he took your sin already? Past, present, and future. We sin in his body and soul only we will sin. But in your spirit, the, the Lord said that whoever is born of God does not commit sin. Who is that? That's your body? No. That's your spirit. Because you will become, become born again. Amen? Yeah. When you're born again, you cannot commit sin. Amen? And the behavior changes. And then, and then those things that you want to do, if you're born again, if you're smoking before, you don't want to smoke no more. 
You don't think sweet thing is more good. Amen? Yes. If you're fornicating, if, if you're fornicating before, when you fornicate the devil, you're born again, you don't want it no more! Yes. Because you're in Christ. Yes. And once you're out in Christ, yes. so why are you hiding? Why are these people hiding? Yes. Because they're guilty of sin. Yes. But don't hide! Because if you're hiding, the Lord God will look for you. Lord. Sorry, Lord. Every day. Every day. If someone passes there, uh, Brother Tony, if someone passes there and somebody uh, uh, put a finger on you and saying that God will be mad at you, and he started, he started yelling to you, that's also, that's also a mistake, even though you're born again. Sometimes you make a mistake. We, we are not perfect. Amen. 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 We are not perfect. We are not perfect. But we are perfect in Christ. And we're perfect, we're perfect. In, Christ. We're in Christ. Remember, no one is perfect. Nobody is perfect. But we're perfect in Christ. When, when you, the, Adam and Eve uh, hid themselves. They hid themselves because they're afraid. Because they have sin. Amen? Amen. And that's why what it is. I give an example. If your little child did something wrong with you, they, they're going to hide from you too. Because they did something wrong. Amen? But if you if you say, look at the prodigal son. The prodigal son came. Came home. Yes. Even though he sinned, he came home. Yes. yes. I, I'm not wanting to be called servant. I can be a servant. But the, but the daddy said, no, I'll give you a robe and a ring. Yes. He didn't look for his for yes. his robe. He knows that his father will still accept him. Yes. Amen? Just go. Yes. Just go. Just go unto, unto, unto Jesus, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Can amen. someone say amen? amen. Can someone say amen? amen? Now, we have this, I have this one, last one. A couple more words and I'm done. Thank you, Lord. Everyone say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at chapter look at Romans chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. 1 to, one to 4. Hallelujah. Chapter 6. Romans chapter 6. Verse 1 to 4. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Okay, look at chapter 6, verse 1 to 4. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace be a bad? Shall you continue in sin that grace may a bad? Because sin, because grace is greater than sin. That's how I say amen. The grace of God is greater than sin. No matter how, what kind of sin you are, grace is greater than sin, right? And look at this, God for this. What shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? I want to say, what shall we? Can we? Can you continue to sin? The Bible says no, because you're already dead to sin. I want to say, I am dead to sin. You're already dead. What? How come you dead to sin? Because of what He has done at the cross. Amen. Verse three. Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ? We're baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so also we should walk in the newness of life. And we'll say hallelujah. hallelujah. Look at verse, verse 4. It says newness of life. You are dead to sin because of what he has done at the cross. Can someone say amen? amen? He took our sin away, past, present, and future. We are dead. Shall you continue to sin? The Bible says no, because we are already dead to sin. Yes. Therefore, you have to serve a newness of life. Can someone say newness of life? Because if you keep sinning, then you are, you are just like Pastor said, you are crucified in Christ again. So Christ is crucified. Crucified. How he said this thing? Crucified. But he said he did it once and for all. Can someone say amen? Amen. He took 
of our sins once and for all. Everyone say Christ. Christ. Let's say let's say Christ, Christ. Took, care took care of my sin, of my sin. Once, and once and for all. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Lord. Let someone say hallelujah. 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 Now I'm gonna bless the word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm on. Look at look at First Corinthians chapter thirty. Uh, chapter chapter one, verse thirty. First Corinthians chapter one, verse thirty. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Chapter one, verse thirty. Let's move our hands and say hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Before we go there, let's go to Romans 12 first. Verse 2 to 3. Thank you, Lord. Chapter 12, verse 2 to 3. Romans 12, verse chapter 12, verse 2 to 3. Be not conformed to this world. Let's all say amen. amen. We are in this world. But we are not, we are alien in this world. We are not into this world, okay? But be transformed by renewing of your mind. That ye may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And let's say perfect, perfect. Will, of will of God. The perfect will of God is you you renew your mind. Be not be not conformed, but be transformed. Tell to you never be not conformed. Everyone say, be not conformed, be not conformed but be transformed. Be transformed. Can someone say, amen? amen. Be not, do not conform. Everyone say, do not conform. Not conform. Be transformed. Transform. 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 Renewing your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable, perfect will of God. Yeah. Verse 3. For I say unto you, for I say, true, great, given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly that he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God dealt to every man is the measure of faith. Can someone say amen? Amen. There is no boasting in the grace of God. Amen? amen. You cannot boast it. God gave you give, that unmerited and earned favor. You yes. cannot boast it to yourself. Yes. There is no boasting in the grace of God. Yes. You are up, we are under grace. We cannot boast about ourselves. You boast about Jesus, what he has done. Yeah. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed yeah. by renewing your mind. Renewing your mind is every day. It's a long term. It's not right away. It's renewing your mind. There are, we, have, we still have witnesses. Yeah. And then, just like my husband came on yes last night, I yelled at him. And we just said, no! Don't do that! Don't go up again! He wants to go out in the middle of the night. I yelled at him. I yelled at him. So that yelling, I'm sure, I, 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 and I said, "Oh Lord, forgive me." Yeah. Oh Lord, I'm sorry, Lord. I'm supposed to be. I'm, suppo I'm supposed to to understand my husband and talk to him, talk to him in in quietly manner because I'm his wife. We made mistakes, amen. Yeah. I'm born again, but we do it. We don't conform to the standard of this world, but we be transformed. Amen. amen. Can someone say amen? amen. I'm on the last verse, Mother Dean. That's all right. First Corinthians, chapter 1, verse, verse 30. 30. Verse, verse 30. Chapter 1, verse 30. I'm in, I'm in Everyone say, I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Come on, I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. And I also say Satan, remember, remember, remember Romans 8 verse 1? If any man be in Christ, no, that's not a uh, flood. Uh, there is therefore no more condemnation to those who are in Christ. Can someone say amen? amen. Yeah. Romans 8 verse 1. There is therefore no more condemnation yeah. to those who are in Christ. Right. To those who walk after in his spirit, not after the flesh. Amen. Can someone say amen? Amen. Look at look at First Corinthians verse one verse thirty. But of him ye are ye in Christ Jesus. Everyone say in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. Come on, everyone say in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Who God is made? Everyone say made. Made is a past tense. Yes. It's not a present tense. Who yes. God is made unto us. Wisdom, it was the wisdom, it was the wisdom. A fool is called a fool.
true. A, 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 a wisdom is not a, is not is not foolish. The, the, the wisdom of the, the foolishness of this world is what we're doing. Amen. But wisdom gave us wisdom. It was the wisdom. Wisdom is if you think that alcohol will will kill your body while you drink it. If you think, my dear, think that 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 jelly is full of sugar, why do you eat it? If you think that the smoking will destroy your lungs, why do you smoke it? That's what I say, amen. If you think that fornicating is going into the lake of fire, why fornicate? That's what I say, amen. Wisdom, everyone's wisdom. Number two, and righteousness. Look at the Bible, we're studying. Everyone's in wisdom. Number two, righteousness. Everyone's in righteousness. You are not right because you are good doing right, no. You are right because of Jesus Christ, righteousness. Because yeah. I would say amen. Yeah, amen. Just because you're going to church, you are right, no. You are right because of Jesus Christ, righteousness. He gave you his righteousness. Because yeah. I would say amen. Yeah. And sanctification, everyone say sanctification. Yeah. So there are what? Number one is wisdom, everyone. Everyone say number one, yeah. wisdom. Number two, righteousness. Number three, sanctification. Sanctification is equal to being holy. When the world is crying, you are you are rejoicing. When the world is broke, you you are blessed. Amen. Because I will say amen. When the world is sorrowful, you have the joy of the Lord. Because I will say amen. You are set apart. Sanctification. Number and the last one, redemption. Because I want to redemption. You've been redeemed 2,000 years ago. He bailed you out. Your offenses. We are redeemed by the blood of the man. Amen. 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 Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away our sins? Hallelujah. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make you whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Nothing but the blood of Jesus. We are redeemed. So everyone say, I have wisdom from above. I have the righteousness of God. I, have the righteousness of God. I, am I am sanctified. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. You see, God wants you to be perfect because He is perfect. Amen. amen. Can someone amen. say amen? amen? Can someone say amen? amen. <laughs> Can someone say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Everyone say hallelujah. hallelujah. Everyone say hallelujah. hallelujah. Everyone say I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. So if you're in Christ, you can't, you, not, no good things will come out. Everyone say, no good things no good will come out. No bad things no will come in. We will get in, yeah, we'll get in your spirit. That's the right, that's the right English. No, no bad things will get in to you. Because you're in Christ. So someone say amen. So if we if we if we if we if we, if we make a mistake or sin, do not hide. Stop hiding. Yes. Because you cannot run away. God will search you. No matter where you're going, just like Jonah. Jonah cannot escape. He's certain. For him to be searched, he has to be he, he has to be eaten by a big shark on the mouth. Amen? Amen. Don't let that happen to you. Because when God searches you, it's going to be painful. What if it comes to a point, I'm, I'm sorry to tell, what if it comes to a point where something is broken in your body because he wants to search you? He didn't do that. You did that to yourself. God did not, did not break your body. You, you broke your body. You broke your body because of your action. You're running away from God. And then finally, you come to a point that I'm not running away from you anymore. I need you, Lord, please help me, help me. They come only when they need Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I have no body. Lord, I'll come to you. Lord, I have no job. I come to you. And everything is okay. They forget.
forget about Jesus. Amen? Don't hide when you're sinning. Go. Go to him. He said that I'll give you strength to the weak. Yes. That's what God said. I'll give the strength to the weak. The one who is weak, he, he gives grace to the humble. Yes. That's what I say, man. Yes. Grace is for the humble, not for the pride people. Yes. It's okay. not for the pride people. Because there's no boasting in grace. Yes. Grace, God gives grace to the humble. Yes. They had, just like Adam and Eve. What if, just, just imagine it. What if they, if God was looking for them? What, what, what if they just say, Lord, I'm sorry. They didn't say that. They did not say, I'm sorry, God. Come on now. But instead, they put each other in the womb that you gave me. Yes. Hallelujah. It's the woman you gave me, Adam said. And the woman said, it's the serpent you gave me, dear. God in the Eden. That's right, people. You're pointing each other. Yes. What if they just say, forgive me, Lord, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. What if they just said that? Probably they will not be kicking out of the garden. Yes. Okay. And then they still, they still no pain, no more sickness. We're still going to be living there in the garden of Eden, full of life, no sickness, no pain. We're still living forever. Amen. There's not anything you can do in the garden of Eden but fellowship with God. Yeah. Amen? Amen. And there is one law over there which is do not do not go to the to the uh, tree of knowledge of good and evil. Yeah. Amen. That's right. That's Come they are that. hiding themselves is fine. They hid themselves yeah. because they, they look at themselves naked and they say we're naked. Look, who told you you're naked? God said. <laughs> yeah. Who told you? Who told you you're naked? Because they see their sin. If you sin, only gather you. I uh, like what my uh, mother did always say. Say that when he pray, she prays, she goes to the closet yes. where only him and God alone. Yes. Silently, when you hear the little voice or something. Yes. And even then, don't hide. It's better to open up. Yes. Open up. When you're hiding, <laughs> don't let. Things happen worse than that, just like Jonah was eaten by a shark. Don't let it worse than that. It's better. God gives grace to the humble. Amen? Amen. Amen. And remember, the enemies of the cross, we saw it. Can we go to there for the last time? It is in Philippians, right? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I have a Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Philippians chapter 3, verse 18. For many walk, many. It's not few, church, many. Yes. For many walk, of whom I have told you often. Yes. And now tell you even weeping. He's crying. He's even weeping. Yes. That they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. Yes. Number one, whose end is destruction? Come you on. think it's good, but it's not. Amen? If you commit adultery, you think it's good? Okay, for temporary happiness, for the case of temporary happiness, but in the end is destruction until you get a sickness, that gloria, whatever that is. Or a virus. Amen? End is destruction. Number two, who's got is their belly? Yes. Carnal. Amen? Number three, whose glory is the shame? Yes. The shame. Whose mind earthly things? Amen. 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 So that's why we we look at the we 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 think of things above yeah, rather than now. earthly things. We we focus on on heavenly things rather yeah. than earthly things because this this one everything passed away. Amen. 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 Everything passed away. Amen. We focus on heaven. Amen. We, we, amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. We live forever. 